<laughs> we're going to be jumping into some Pokemon TCG. I got a Shiny Crobat VMAX box set from the Shining Fates, uh, what is it, collection? Uh, Shining Fates release set, I guess set is the word I'm looking for. Um, it's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. We're definitely going to break that down and, uh, and yeah, we're going to break that down and kind of get into it and get it to focus a little bit better. Yeah, that seems pretty good. It'll look a little better once we get this box open. Hmm. Didn't seem super well sealed. Let's go slide this out. Hopefully, we didn't get scam a rune. That would suck. But so far, so good. Okay, this kind of comes out. First off, let's take a look at this. This is not really truly a card, but it's like a giant one. It's like almost the size of my hand. That's pretty sick. Look back here, just has the typical American print back to a Pokemon card. I don't know, you put this on a frame or something? I don't even know what to do with this thing. Can you imagine rolling up with your deck and <laughs> to do a battle with somebody else and to have them having a card like this just shoved in the middle of their deck? That'd be crazy. Anyway, that's a cool card. Um, I guess... I don't know. I want to get this tray out of the way. So, let's see in here. It looks like we got seven packs. How many are supposed to be in this? Hang on. Okay, yeah, one etched promo of Shiny Crobat V, one extra promo of Shiny Crobat VMAX, one oversized card with VMAX, one metallic coin, and seven TCG packs, and a code card. Okay. So yeah, it looks like, looks like everything is supposed to be here. Um, let's get these packs out of here. There's a lot of extra plastic, a lot more extra plastic than I thought. Alright, let's get these packs out. And the rest is just more cavernous plastic that nobody needs. Um, I think I set our, our card down here, our oversized Crobat VMAX. Well, let's get these other guys out of the plastic. Well, here's the code card. Set that aside. I'm not worried about codes. And then here is the actual Crobat Emacs card. Pretty cool looking. I'll set it with its uh, larger form there. Here is our tiny Crobat coin that we get with it, which is pretty cool. I like that. Last up here, that'll come out of the plastic, is our shiny Crobat V card. So a little bit different design and angle. Beautiful cards. And also they're dark type, which is interesting. Um, I mean, there is no poison energy in the Pokemon TCG, but, uh, or flying, actually. Usually they use the psychic energy if it's a poison type, or in this case they use dark, which is interesting. Um, okay, let me get all this extra plastic and junk off of the desk here. <laughs> so we're gonna these packs. It's uh, a little bit depressing how much extra plastic and packaging goes into that that I don't really feel like needs to be there, but I'll right, we'll move our coin out of the way. We'll set these out of the way as well. Well, actually, before I do anything, let me go ahead and put the actual cards into sleeves. I know this isn't the best way. 
of preserving your cards. Normally you want to put them in a little a little soft slippery cover sleeve and then a hard cover sleeve to keep them protected, but this will do for now. I don't even know what to put this in to protect it, to be real with you. Some kind of frame of some kind? Do they sell sleeves this big for the oversized cards? I don't even know. It'll, it'll just sit over here for now because I don't know what to do with it. Um, but yeah, so now we have seven Shining Fates um, English print TCG packs. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a Charizard, a Toxtricity, Dragapult, two Dragapults, another Toxtricity. Here's a Shiny Corviknight, and then a third Dragapult. So I think we'll start with the Dragapults because we have so many of them, and then we'll do Toxtricity, and then our last two that are individually printed. So let's move these guys out of the way. We'll start here with a Shining Fates TCG pack. Looks like we have Choodle there, right off the top. And there's another code card, which we can set aside. Okay. Off the top here we have Choodle. Acnea. Gossifleur. Coughing. I've seen some of these art before. I've, at very least, I've seen this coughing artwork before. More Pico, that's new. Hello! Is that a shiny Ditto V? That is a shiny Ditto V. Look at him. That's adorable. It's interesting that in this card, even though it's a shiny Ditto, the inside of its mouth is pink. I never really paid attention to that. Super cool. Okay, we got shiny Ditto V and then a regular Ditto V Max. But that's okay. Still a cool card. Shiny Ditto V though. I love that card. Um, electric Energy. Team Yell Tell. Oh, I guess let me move some of the more interesting artworks there that I hadn't seen before so you guys can see that. Team Yell Tell, just a trainer card, although it's pretty good. It heals 50 damage from, oh, from both active Pokemon. Okay, so you wouldn't want to use that if your opponent is hurting, too. Floatzel and Ball Guy. But, uh, but yeah, that is, that are the, that's the pulls from this pack. Let me go ahead and put these in a sleeve. Especially our shiny ditto there. Absolutely beautiful pulls. I have several of these ditto V Maxes, but uh, that's the first shiny ditto that I've pulled, for sure. I guess it'd be faster if I put all these in sleeves at the end instead of uh, doing it one by one, but. Now this is just a good way to keep them safe.
across the floor. I don't know what the uh, proper way is to open these, and frankly, I don't really care as far as doing it in the right order or whatever. Across the floor. And uh, looks like a Choodle Reverse here. Interesting, I got the little water type energies and like tiles, chevron looking tiles all over the map. That's, that's the first type of reverse I think that I've seen with like this. Could be wrong, but uh, we got a Choodle and a Dreadnought in the same pack. Kind of cool. Water energy. Cards, I think, back. Tropius, that's kind of cool. Float Soul. And Thwacky on the bottom. So, no shinies in this pack. But uh, actually, the only hollow that we got too was this Choodle. I'm not sure how these packs exactly are supposed to work. But uh, overall, a little bit over, uh, uh, not over, a little underwhelming of the pack. Interesting. Uh, Reverse that I've never seen before, though, so that's something. Instead of immediately putting this into a pat into a sleeve, I'll do that all at the end. Make things a little bit more efficient as far as time. Okay, the next pack here. Or kind of weird. What, what is happening here? Come on. This is insane. Come on. Blue card on the bottom that we don't believe or care about. some of the background art on these. Weasel, and this is one that's got like a atypical art style, and I like it a lot too. There were some old packs, like some of the rocket card packs and some of the fossil ones where they did atypical artwork or had um, fans submit artwork and one of their artworks would get picked for a new card of that Pokemon. Q-Fant, I've seen a lot of Q-Fant cards. Rusted Sword, oh this one, so this is a reverse trainer card and it's got Pokeballs. Chevrons on the background, like that water, oh, that Chuba card that we looked at. And, ooh, we got a Zeru. It's kind of interesting. It's not hollow or anything, but uh, Psychic Energy. Cramorant. So again, no shinies in this pack. Also, no hollows in this pack again. Um, but we did get the reverse uh, rusted sword with the chevron. So maybe these packs don't give you a guaranteed Z or um, I'm sorry, not the V or V Max and or shiny. There's just there's just no guarantees. So far, I'm definitely liking the uh, the Japanese packs better as far as. Their odds, anyway. I mean, yeah, we got a shiny out of our first pack, that shiny ditto, and a VMAC card along with it, but the other two packs have been kind of underwhelming. Um, but that finishes it for the Dragapult packs, so now let's move on to one of our Toxtricity packs. Okay. 
the other side. There. And you can see a spinner rack here on top. Okay. So here on the top we got spinner rack. We got a code card here on the bottom. Side. Okay, so spinner rack. Weasel. Cute plant. Acnea. Gossifleur. Another Gossifleur. But this one has the reverse with the green uh, leaf energy chevrons. The Dreadnought again. Fire energy. And then Floatzel. Rotom. With Interesting artwork. It looks like it's picking out from a catalog what type it wants to turn into. And a gym trainer. Okay, again, another underwhelming pack with a uh, one reverse hollow with those chevrons. Those chevrons must be the uh, reverse hollow setup for this set. Interesting, too, that we bought, we got the regular Gossifleur and the Earth's Gossifleur in the exact same pack. I don't know if that's a relatively common thing to experience with this. But... Alright, the last Toxtricity pack, and then we've got a Charizard pack and a Corviknight pack to go through. So we've got a Q-Fan on the bottom. On the top, we got Q-Fan, Spinner Rack, uh, Choodle, I'm very used to this one biting the cat tail, Cacnea, more Pico, <gasps> ooh, look at that thwacky, that shiny thwacky, that's very cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Ooh, and a Morpico VMAX. Uh, it's not a shiny Morpico, but I've never seen a Morpico VMAX before, so happy to add it to the, uh, the list. It's very cool looking. Fighting Energy. Uh, our Rotom again. Interesting. So I noticed in the packs that we seem to get a shiny and a VMAX, um, I haven't been seeing reverse that comes in those packs. So, and that might just be the packs in particular that we've seen so far of the American kind that are like that. But um, that first pack where we got a shiny and a VMAX in the pack, there was no uh, no reverse. So, but a very cool pack. Um, Getting a shiny is always sick, and then getting a VMAX of something you haven't had before is also amazing. So, very cool. Very cool pack. Ah! Losing cards. They're falling. Okay. Yeah, very, very neat pack. Very happy about that. I don't think... So I guess I would need to find a shiny Brookie and a shiny Rillaboom, because I don't think I've found... Either of those shiny yet in the cards, but we have a Thwacky, so that's something. Very, very cool. Uh, Alright, let's do let's do the Charizard pack next, and we have the Corviknight one for last. Corviknight was one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon that got added in. Uh, I think my favorite though is Grappalock. Getting getting a shiny uh, Clavopus or Grappalock in the card form would be amazing to me. I'd love that. Uh, Qfant off the top. Oh, we got a Rowlet in this pack. I like that. Oh, very cool. That's yeah, a very cool uh, little piece of artwork here. 
I just realized the music hasn't been playing. That's super unfortunate. I apologize. Normally, when I'm opening cars, I got some background music going in. I thought it was playing, but looks like the program froze, so let me reopen it. There we go. That's, that's a little better. Goodness, I apologize. Okay. Back to the back. Uh, Rowlet. Rousefleur. Coughing that we've seen plenty of times now. This is more Pico, but it's a different more Pico. Like a different art, and I'm assuming different moves. I haven't been paying attention to the moves, but very interested with the uh, Trombeak. Oh, Pick a Pack? I forget what that one's called. And then Shuckle. Ooh, is that? It's another of the special Eveltal. I've pulled so many of these. Um, this might be the fourth or fifth one now of this exact card that I've pulled. It's very cool looking. The rainbow, I'm hoping that it's focusing appropriately to show just how... I think my hand is kind of blocking the light. Yeah, there we go. Just how shiny and reflective and colorful this card is. It's a very cool card, and I'm always happy to see one of these out of a pack. Professor Juniper's Research. Fighting Energy. Oh, I forgot to take the uh, token card out. Uh, gym Trainer. A regular Thwacky. And a Team Yell Pal. I feel like there's less cards in this pack than the previous one. Huh. Okay. Yeah, well, th there they are. Um, really cool pull with the Abeltel card, as usual. I like some of the artwork that's in here. Some new ones I hadn't seen before. Um, very happy. Very happy with that pack. Can't complain to be able to pull a beautiful Abeltel out of there. Even if it is my fourth or fifth one, though. Shiny Corviknight. See if we can't pull another shiny out of here. One more would be a solid way to end the opening, the box opening. Um, take the code card out, put the back. And we got Snom. Snom nom nom. Let me pull the pack out of the way. Then we got Spinarak, Cutifant, this Rowlet again, Gossifleur, ooh, okay, a Decidueye with the Reverse Hollow, the, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even have my hand all the way up in the camera, um, yeah, you get the leaf print on chevrons behind it, that's kind of cool, so I'm assuming since we have, we have the Reverse that there's not going to be a Shiny or a VMAX in this pack, but... Professor's Research, Fire Energy, Eldegoss, Rusted Sword, and Bulk Guy. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like if you find a Reverse Hollow, there's not going to be a Shiny or a VMAX in there, or if you pull the Rare like I did with the uh, the Aveltel. But very cool. Very cool packs. Sidueye looking fierce with the uh, reverse, ho reverse Hollow Leaf Chevrons. I like that. And that concludes the box opening. Um, let me go ahead and put these guys in sleeves. 